Hey guys, welcome back to another plush review, where today we will be reviewing King Knight. So, if you haven't played Shovel Knight, I will give you a little background on King Knight, because if, unless you fight Spectre Knight, he is basically the first uh, knight you fight in Shovel Knight. So, King Knight is the uh, guardian, or like, the person who rules over Primador Keep, and like I said before, he's probably the first person you'll fight unless you fight Spectre Knight, which Spectre Knight and King Knight are like the two knights that you can fight first. And yeah, so that's a little background on him, but now we're actually going to review the plush. So at the top of his head, we have his crown, which is pretty cool. And the same person makes all of these Shovel Knight plushes, so... I mean, they look like as if they're from the same game because they have the same, you know, body style and stuff like that. But at the top, you can see he has a little, like, um, like hat or hat cover thing on his, on the inside of his crown. Then we have his little cross, which is also on the top of his crown. Then we have his helmet, which is like... Uh, the basic standard helmet looks like a knight's helmet, obviously. Then we have his, I don't really know what you call this, but it is pretty cool. It's like poofed out shoulder pads, kind of, and they look really cool. And you can take his cape off, which his cape is like really fluffy. It's like a, um, a fur material, and on the back there's felt to it as well. Um, you can take the cape off if you just pop off those buttons, but I'm not going to do that because I would like the cape to stay on. Then we have his little uh, neck padding thing. Again, I don't really know what that's called. Then we have his arms, which are identical. They have the little circle with, I, I believe that's glue in there. It's a little neat design. And he also has arm pads on both arms and then we have his back and his stomach which are like plates gold plates um, and then his waist we have his like belt with his um, I believe these are also supposed to be plates but probably not it probably thinner than this one not as protective um, they have the same design as the arms on each and every one there's four of them there's one there one on each of the sides, and then one on back. And then we have his legs, which actually look short, but they aren't that short because um, the waist plates um, kind of cover that up. So you think he has short legs, but really they're just being covered up by the waist plates. But that's pretty much all on King Knight, but as all Shovel Knight, plushes do, at least most of them, if not all of them, they have a weapon, and King Knight does have a weapon. King Knight's weapon is this little staff, um, I mean, you see it sometimes in, like, images with kings, they have this thing, I don't really know what it's called, um, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, so if you know what this is called, please put it in the comments, and... Um, it has that little wooden spool, kind of like, uh, Spectre Knight's staff has the same thing, except it's visible. This one is covered in felt, and then it has this, um, felt ball on it, which makes it really cool. And then, kind of to match the top of his head, he also has a cross on his weapon. Now, I don't really see what good this is going to do, because... What is he going to do with it, unless it has some sort of magic powers? Um, I believe he's just going to try to slap Shovel Knight with this, and it's not going to do much damage. So, um, I would consider this more of like a, a power tool, not really a weapon. Like, this is probably what they wave around, the kings wave around to, you know, instruct power. This isn't really a weapon, at least. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't really look like a weapon. Anyways, that is the King Knight review. Um, if you want to see more Shovel Knight reviews, please uh, post a comment saying I like this and obviously like the video. And if you haven't, why not shoot for the stars and subscribe. So thank you guys for watching. 
Um, there will be more plush reviews on the way, and I hope you'll like them. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.